Okay guys, so recently I've seen a few creators here on YouTube showing how you can change the background color as you scroll down your page. But the only problem is that they are all using Elementor Pro. Now what if you don't want to use Elementor Pro? What if you want to use the free version? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can do that for free. That's right. I'm going to show you how you can get the exact same results without having to buy the Pro version of Elementor. Now let me show you the results first, then I'll show you how you can achieve that. Very good, so as you can see, this is our home page. And if we scroll down this page, so we start with the blue section. If we scroll down, you're gonna see it's gonna change color. So gently, very smoothly, smooth transition. As you can see, we now we have a green section. So if we go down, now it's yellow. And then we arrive to the orange section and then the red section. And then if you scroll back up, it's the same basically, you know? So we go from red to orange, orange to yellow, yellow to green, and green to blue. So as you can see, very smooth transition indeed. Okay guys, so are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so let me show you here. So we're gonna start from our WordPress dashboard. Obviously, clearly this is an Elementor tutorial, so make sure that it is installed. As you can see, it's already installed here on the right-hand side in our menu section. And we're going to start by installing two plugins. So we're going to the plugin section, add new. And the first one we're going to look for is custom CSS. And we're going to select this one here, WP add custom CSS. So as you can see, it has uh, over 100,000 activations. So it's very reliable. So I'll click on this, install. Just going to take a few seconds. There you go. And now activate. Perfect. And now we're going to install a second plugin. Now this one is not available in the WordPress repository, so we have to go to their website. So this website is called Elementor Add-on Components. And what this plugin will allow us to do, let me show if it's called on the page, it will allow us to add custom attributes. So this is normally a pro feature with Elementor, but with this plugin here, you can add this to Elementor free of charge. So this is why we need this. So basically what you do now is to click on the download link here, there you go. Make sure that you're not a robot. Take this and then click download and then simply download that onto your hard drive. And then once you're done, you can close this window and let's go back to our plugin section and let's add this plugin to our WordPress installation. So add new and then upload plugin and then select the file that you just downloaded. So this is the file here. Click open and then install. And there you go. So all you have to do now is just to activate it. And that's it, we're all set now. And as you can see by the side, we have two extra tabs. One is to add custom CSS, and the other one is the EAC components. So that shows that both of them are enabled and active. So let's go ahead with our pages now. So we're going to pages, all pages, and I'm going to use the home page myself, this one here, okay? But you feel free to create any page you want and start afresh. So what I'm going to do now is to edit this page, but not with Elementor, just use the, the normal editor. So just click on home or your page. And the reason why we're not using Elementor at the moment is because we have to add our custom CSS attached to this page. So basically this section here at the bottom, as you can see, it says custom CSS. And this is where we're going to copy and paste our CSS code. So for this, we're going to go to my website, mrwebreviews.com. And this is the page. So basically here, I've laid it out all for you. It's all ready to go. All you have to do is just copy and paste it. So Basically, all you do is just copy this, control C, go back to your page, control V, and now update and save that page. Okay, so let's go back to my website for a few seconds and let me show you exactly what this code is all about. So basically, this is the transition speed. As you can see, the background color will ease in uh, every one second. So every time you, you scroll in between those sections, it will take one second to scroll to uh, basically uh, transition from one color to, to the other. And this is why you have such a smooth effect. Now the colors, you'll have to define them here. As you can see, this is CSS code. So this one is called color blue. And then you have color green, color yellow. And this is the hexadecimal code uh, attached to that color. So feel free to change this around. You could call this maybe color pink and have a pink color here, maybe color purple, and then have the hexadecimal code uh, related to that uh, color. Now back to our page here. And now that our CSS code is in place, we can edit our page using Elementor. So let's click on this. So our first step here on our Elementor page is to add a second piece of code. 
So basically, let me show you quickly we had the CSS code, so that's taken care of, but we also need to insert some JavaScript code. So this is the one here. So basically, you again, just copy, Control C, then we go back to Elementor, and right here, we're going to create a section, full width, click on it, and now we're going to insert a HTML element. So this is the one here, that one exactly. So drag and drop it. And now you're going to paste the code in this section here. So control V, just like that. Now, clearly this HTML section will not be visible in the front end. It's just be loaded. Basically, every time the page will be loading, it will load that script, which is very important because this is necessary, obviously, for our scrolling feature here. So now we can create our five different sections. And for this, we're going to create our first one and then we can duplicate it. So let's create our first section. Let's take full width again. Now, obviously, this feature only works for long sections, you know, so you have to scroll from one screen to the other uh, before you can have this transition effect uh, and the color to change. So for this, I'm just going to select simply here fit to screen. So every section will be the same height of our screen. So it'd be easier for us to uh, go from one to the other. Now we need to give this section a CSS ID, CSS class ID. So now we're going to advanced. And as you can see, we have CSS classes here, and we call this one panel. So basically, if we go back to our code here, you can see here, this is called panel, a dollar panel, dot panel for CSS. And this is the one we need to insert right here. And now this is when we're going to make use of that free plugin that we've installed, the EST custom attribute. So click on this. And as you can see here, we need to insert a key followed by a pipe sign. So the pipe sign is that straight line and then give it a value. So right here, we're going to type in data hyphen color, then pipe sign, and then your color that you want to use. So let's start with blue, let's say. So data color, pipe sign, blue. And just to identify our section, maybe we can add a heading. So let's go and do this. We add a heading and let's call this one. Maybe this is the blue section. And then maybe we can center that as well. So click update. So that's it, basically. Our section is ready. Now we can duplicate it and change the settings accordingly for our different colors. So basically, click on this, right-click, duplicate. So we can scroll down, click on this one, and now we're going to edit that section. We're going to Advanced. So we're going to keep the same CSS class for all of them. They're all called Panel, but the custom attribute will change. And to change the background color of this section, all we have to do is to change the value here. So instead of data color blue, we're going to have data color. And let's make this one green. Now we can change our heading as well. So let's make this one green. And again, don't forget to update. So let's have a quick look with just two sections. So we're going to go to our website. I'm going to the home page. As you can see, this is a blue section. And if I scroll down, this is turning green already. And we can do that with as many sections as we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and add an additional three sections. So there you go. That was quick enough, wasn't it? So let's go back to our page. Let's refresh. So now we're going to go from blue to green, from green to yellow, and then orange, and finally red. So there you go, guys. This is how you can achieve that without having to buy the pro version of Elementor. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It will greatly help with growing this channel. Okay, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.